Right Reverend Dr. Givergis Mar Theodosius was installed as Theodosius Marthoma Metropolitan of the Malankara Marthoma Syrian Church on November 14, 2020 in accordance with God's divine will. This video documents Theodosius Marthoma's journey with God's providence and God's blessings to shepherd the Marthoma Church globally. Mar Theodosius was born on February 19, 1949 to Dr. K.J. Chako and Mrs. Mariama Simoni Chako of the Kirike Chakaliyal family in Ashtamudi. He was named George Jacob. He studied at the M.T. Seminary School Kotayam, the Besilius College Kotayam and the Marthama College Thiruvalla and obtained his Bachelor of Divinity degree from the Leonard Theological College in Jabalpur. He was ordained as a deacon, Shemachan, on June 24, 1972, and as a priest, Kashisha, Rev. George Jacob, on February 24, 1973. His first appointment as a priest was in the St. Thomas Marthoma Church, Santa Cruz, Mumbai. In 1980, he obtained a master's degree in comparative religion from the Vishwa Bharati University in Kolkata, and in 1986, he obtained his PhD, Doctor of Philosophy in Religion, from McMaster University in Ontario, Canada. While studying, he also served as the vicar of Toronto Parish and neighboring congregations. Rev. George Jacob was elected as a candidate for episcopacy while serving as the vicar of St. Paul's Marthoma Church, Korikod. He was ordained as Ramban on November 4, 1989 and was consecrated as Givergis Mar Theodosius Episcopa on December 9, 1989. As an Episcopa, Mar Theodosius first took charge of the Madras Kundangulam Malabar Diocese. It was during this period that the diocese acquired its new diocesan center, the land for the deaf and dumb school, and the land for mission houses and churches. Many evangelists were appointed to serve in these places. He also took the initiative to start the Karnataka mission field and translate the Marthoma liturgy into the Kannada language. Mar Theodosius then served as episcopa of the Thiruvananthapuram Kollam diocese and initiated projects such as house for the landless and homeless, educational help for poor students, rehabilitation of mental patients, sneha theorem for the HIV AIDS patients an old age home at Katakada compassion international units land and building for the hospital guidance center and the retreat center at Peringala Marthiadosh's then served as episcopa of the Chennai Bangalore Malaysia Singapore and Australia diocese under his tenure new mission fields were started in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Schemes like marriage aid, education aid, community health work, and housing for the homeless were initiated. Under his leadership, steps were also initiated for the development of the Marthoma Center in Bangalore and the Student Center in Chennai. Mar Theodosius then took charge as Episcopa of the Diocese of North America and Europe on January 1, 2009. During his tenure, he initiated several projects for the benefit of the Marthoma diaspora within the diocese. His initiatives geared to the youth for encouraging them to remain connected with the faith and practices of the Marthoma Church included revising the english worship liturgy and revising and translating the worship order for special occasions increasing the number of english services in parishes and taking steps to start an english congregation 
in Dallas, encouraging the older generation to provide leadership roles and opportunities to the younger generation, initiating the Altar Boys and Covenant Girls program for grooming the younger generation to serve and learn more about the church from a young age. Initiatives pertaining to the diocesan mission activities included encouraging parishes and youth groups to start neighborhood mission projects, expanding the mission work amongst Native Americans to additional geographical areas, and taking specific steps to improve the living conditions of the residents at Colonia Martoma, the Mexico mission field in Matamoros, Mexico by building kitchen and toilet facilities for each house, bringing electricity and water storage facilities for the residents, encouraging residents to do their own gardening and poultry and pig farming, initiating the MANA project to provide nutritious food for the residents to alleviate their poverty and malnutrition, and consecrating the newly constructed chapel at Colonia Martoma and translating the liturgy to the Spanish language for conducting regular communion services at Colonia Martoma. To strengthen the diocese in all its regions, he set up regional activity committees, RACs, in all eight regions. Some of the RACs registered in their respective states and have undertaken different projects. He also initiated the Young Family Fellowship and Senior Fellowship programs in parishes. For the clergy who were citizens of countries within the diocese, he revised their pension fund and set up a Higher Studies Scholarship. To communicate more effectively with the faithful using modern technology, he initiated the Besora, a monthly electronic newsletter and the Word for the Day, Daily Meditations, which were distributed to the diaspora via email. He also initiated the IT Fellowship to create a network of information technology professionals and to utilize their skills to support and address the technology needs of the diocese. To commemorate the Diocese in Silver Jubilee in 2013, he launched the Going Green Project, demonstrating his love of nature and his enthusiasm to preserve and protect it. He planted a tree in most parishes that he visited and urged members to do the same on their own properties. His dedication to being a steward of God's creation follows him wherever he ministers. His ecumenical zeal was evidenced through the annual ecumenical fellowship and dinner meetings held in various regions of the diocese. Leaders of various church denominations, local leaders, and leaders of national church councils attended these meetings. During his tenure in the North America and Europe diocese, the following eight publications were released. The second edition of the book titled In Search of Christian Identity in Global Community, a Feshgriff volume with essays and tributes in honor of Givorgis Mar Theodosius Episcopa, PhD in Religion, in April 2009. Worship Order for Special Occasions in 2010. The Order of Worship for Divine Service, Holy Kurbana, and Other Sacraments and Rites in 2012. Word for the Day, Daily Meditations in 2012 and 2013. Church, Journeying with Christ, a Silver Jubilee publication of the Marthoma Church, Diocese of North America and Europe in 2013. Focus on the Word, Journeying with Christ, Bible Studies in 2013, and Beyond the Diaspora, Marthoma Church, Identity and Mission in the Context of Multiplicity, a Feshgriff volume to commemorate the Silver Jubilee of Mar Theodosius' Episcopacy in 2014.
Mar Theodosius took charge as the Episcopa of the Mumbai Diocese on April 1, 2016. In the Mumbai Diocese, he worked hard to lead many initiatives, such as giving a voice to the downtrodden, especially the Katkari group of Adivasis, who are often excluded by other Adivasis, providing long-term vision and sustainability to the ongoing Navajivan Center's ministries that cater to the needs of commercial sex workers and aids their rehabilitation, providing long-term vision and sustainability to the Navodhya movement and its work amongst the transgender community to ensure that transgender individuals are treated on par with other human beings and enhancing the ministry to the children of the rag pickers community by ensuring that they receive good education, good food, and hope for a better future. He has supported and promoted the Save a Heart program, wherein the offertory collected during the Episcopal visits to the parishes in the diocese are used to fund cardiac surgeries of financially needy patients. Mar Theodosius initiated the Streams of Living Water project for providing drinking water to the people in the arid and drought-struck regions of Maharashtra and in the areas near Aurangabad and Pipalpada. When massive floods affected his home state of Kerala, Mar Theodosius initiated a concerted effort to bring relief materials to the needy. His empathy for others also initiated the Come and Dine project whereby churches provide food packets to the hungry in their vicinities. By initiating the Go Green Care for the Earth project, Mar Theodosius helped provide a green cover in barren lands by having 5,000 saplings planted in the Navjeevan Center Morbad. Lonavala Mar Chrysostom Ashram and in the other institutions and mission fields of the diocese. In place of floral bouquets, Mar Theodosius prefers plant saplings which can be planted in apt places. Under Mar Theodosius's guidance, cloth bags were made available by the diocese to encourage families to switch to reusable environment-friendly bags and discourage the use of plastic bags. Diocesan circulars or kalpanas are issued through electronic means to minimize the use of paper. Mar Theodosius also paid keen attention to the development of viable infrastructure to support and enhance ongoing programs. At the Mar Chrysostom Ashram Kamshed, he initiated the construction of the new school building, pavilion, paved roads, and residence facilities for the director, and acquired modern kitchen equipment for the camp center. At the Navjeevan Center Murbad, to assist in the holistic upbringing of the resident children, he ensured that the property was fenced and included water collection ponds, cattle sheds, a multi-purpose hall, solar-powered electricity, and poultry and fish farming. Mar Theodosius also initiated the release of the Holy Kurbana Taksa, the regular worship order, and the songbook in Marathi, the vernacular language of the believers in the mission fields. He also ensured that missionary achins were available in the region for providing pastoral care and administering sacraments for believers. On December 9, 2019, Mar Theodosius completed 30 years of Episcopal ministry. He was consecrated as a bishop along with Right Reverend Dr. Joachim Mar Kurlos and the late lamented Right Reverend Giver Gismar Athanasius. On December 7, 2019, the Mumbai Diocese organized a salutatory function to celebrate the occasion at the St. John's Marthoma Church, Pune. The Most Reverend Dr. Joseph Marthoma Metropolitan was the chief guest, 
and bishops from sister churches and other dignitaries were also present. A festive volume titled Beyond Homogeneity: Identities, Mission, Resurgent Fundamentalism was published to commemorate the occasion. On July 1, 2020, Mar Theodosius took charge as Episcopa of the Rani Nilakal Diocese in addition to the responsibility of the Mumbai Diocese. On July 12, 2020, Mar Theodosius was installed as the Suffragan Metropolitan of the Mar Thoma Syrian Church by the then Metropolitan Dr. Joseph Mar Thoma. As the Suffragan Metropolitan, Mar Theodosius led various COVID-19 pandemic relief activities, distributed mobile phones and television sets to needy students, and distributed protective shields for auto drivers. He also authored two books, Church and the New Normal: Ecclesial Imaginations for a New Humanity in English and Adi Jeevanathinde Atma Chaitanyam in Malayalam. On 2nd October 2020, the late Dr. Joseph Martoma Metropolitan designated Mar Theodosius as the metropolitan in charge to preside over meetings and assist the metropolitan in matters of church administration. As metropolitan in charge, Mar Theodosius led the dedication service of the St. Thomas Ecumenical Trust Nilakal along with the bishops of all the member churches. On October 28, 2020, Mar Theodosius also participated in the installation service of Right Reverend Shanto Lakshman Rodrigo as the 16th bishop of the historic diocese of Colombo of the Church of Ceylon. On October 18, 2020, Dr. Joseph Marthoma Metropolitan entered his heavenly abode. The Episcopal Synod which met on October 27, 2020, decided to install Mar Theodosius as the next metropolitan of the Marthoma Church, and the decision was approved by the Sabha Council that met on November 6, 2020. Thus, On November 14, 2020, Mar Theodosius was installed as Mar Thoma the 22nd and named Theodosius Mar Thoma Metropolitan of the Malankara Mar Thoma Syrian Church. The installation of the 22nd Mar Thoma was blessed by Padma Bhushan Right Reverend Dr. Philippos Mar Chrysostom, Mar Thoma Velia Metropolitan, and the installation worship service was conducted by Right Reverend Dr. Joachim Mar Kurulos Episcopa. The public meeting that followed was graced by the cardinals, bishops and moderators of sister churches, leaders of global church councils, other religious, social, cultural and political leaders, clergy, evangelists and faithful members in Christ. The entire church community prayed that God's hand would guide Theodosius Marthoma bless him protect him and enable him to expand God's ministry Theodosius Marthoma is a dynamic personality with vision and zeal to serve the Lord and his church He is a keen observer an extremely hard working individual and a man of integrity He is disciplined optimistic, accountable, transparent and sincere. He is an advocate of change and has no fear in experimenting with new initiatives in the mission and ministry of the church if such changes are in accordance with God's law and promote God's kingdom values. Theodosius Marthoma is adept at establishing a global presence of the Marthoma church. In his own words, the challenge of the Marthoma Church in the 21st century is to assume its global nature by transcending the boundaries set by the familiar religion and culture. Theodosius Marthoma's inclusive love for others and his enthusiasm to minister comes from the call of Christ, 
love your neighbor as yourself. Theodosius Martoma is a church leader whose leadership decisions leave lasting imprints of God's love. While great challenges lie before him and the church in the current era, we pray that God will grant him the vision, strength, and grace to emulate the servant leadership of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he journeys with God's providence and shepherds the church.